Hi, this is Mike, and uh, two of the tendons that uh, get into trouble the most often in the lower extremities are your uh, patella tendon and your Achilles tendon. Uh, a little isometric uh, training can go a long way to keep those tendons healthy and happy. I don't see it done enough in uh, general fitness programs, uh, especially for people that like to uh, uh, perform athletic activities like go running, play pickleball, play tennis. Um, uh, the first one we're going to do here is a uh, is a half kneeling hold or a, a split stance hold. I like to put a pad down on the floor, get the patient or the client all lined up the proper way. Uh, you're going to get in this genuflection position so that this uh, tibia is straight up and down, your femur is straight up and down, you dig your toe in in the back, gripping the floor with the front foot, and then you're just going to lift up off the pad about an inch or two and just hold that position uh, for 20 to 60 seconds. Very common, one side will feel a little more difficult than the other. I would start with that uh, more challenging side. Some people will feel this in the front of their knee, some people on the side a little bit. Those are all uh, right answers. Uh, after you've finished up, uh, just come up, walk around, rest a little bit, and then uh, perform it on the other side. You can load that uh, exercise with a set of dumbbells uh, on either side as it uh, as it gets easier to hold, and I think that's a great idea to strengthen up that patella tendon. Uh, the next one is a soleus isometric or Achilles tendon. Uh, you're going to bend your knee a little bit when you perform this, so you take that big calf muscle, your gastroc out of it, and you're just using that soleus a little bit more. Having something to hold on to for balance is, uh, is a good idea for most people. So I'm going to plant my right foot, I'm going to lift my heel, and just bring the other leg back and just hold that position with a little bit of forward lean. I'm not weight bearing through these sticks. I'm just kind of putting my fingertips on them to hold myself up. And again, you want to hold that for 20 seconds and then build it up to about 60 seconds. On both of these exercises, you just uh, need one repetition on each side so it doesn't take a lot of time. And uh, um, a couple of sessions of those a week will do a great job at bulletproofing those two tendons. So give those a try and let me know how you do. Thanks for watching.